In Forrester Creation's main office, Ridge, Thomas, and Zend marvel over the boho chick dress a model is wearing. Thomas gives Zend credit for what he did with his design. He hopes to show the public they're a force to be reckoned with. Hope walks in and the dress takes her breath away. Adil, Gardino, Liam, and Wyatt talk business until talk turns to Bill and Ridge. Wyatt asks about their family dinner last night, but Liam smiles that he and Hope spent the night alone. Wyatt teases his brother, who orders him to please stop. He tells Wyatt that they really needed the time together. In the design office, Taylor greets Brooke who says they've had loads of interest since they announced Thomas was back on the line. She's excited for Hope. Taylor asks how her family dinner went last night with Ridge. Brooke muses, about that. Liam and Hope and the kids, they couldn't make it. Taylor assumes she rescheduled, but instead learns that Brooke and Ridge had dinner alone. Brooke explains that Hope decided at the last minute to spend time with Liam alone and arranged sleepovers for the kids. Taylor muses, so it was just you and old Ridgie. Brooke replies, yep. In the main office, the model wearing the boho dress hits on Thomas, who agrees to get a drink with her sometime and says he'll give her a call. After she exits, Rich tells the hope for the future crew that he's impressed. Zinn says no one gets it done like Thomas. Hope agrees, he certainly does. In the design office, Brooke tells Taylor that nothing happened, it was just dinner with Ridge. Taylor teases her about cooking and Brooke says she ordered out. Taylor's glad they can talk about Ridge and marvels that they've come a long way. She adds, I trust you. Brooke assures Taylor she takes their vow very seriously. Men come and go but girlfriends last forever. They embrace but both look off. Adil Gardino. Liam has told Wyatt the story about Thomas catching Hope when she fell off the riser. Wyatt says he'd have done a lot more than shove him. Liam doesn't see a better man so will never see eye to eye with Hope on Thomas. I trust Hope and I don't trust Thomas. He feels better after last night, however, since she showed up and thanked him for his patience. This gives him certainty that Thomas isn't going to interfere in their marriage. He relays that he and Hope haven't connected like that in a long time, although there were a couple of moments where she seemed a little off. I guess. He recalls that when it was over she got dressed right away and went up to her mom's. By the time I got there, it was tense. Hope was tense. In the main office, Rich tells Thomas and the others that Sheila is still recovering from her heart attack and will end up behind bars. They all agree that teamwork makes the dream work. Rich compliments Hope on the strong decision to hire Thomas back on the line. You guys make a great team. Later, Thomas and Hope go over the designs alone and discuss hippie and boho fashions. Hope watches him as he explains the difference between the two. She says it's nice to see him so passionate. In the design office, Taylor and Brooke discuss Sheila being in the prison hospital. Rich peeks in as a marvel overthinking. He was away finding himself when he was right there in town trying to trap Sheila. Brooke says, I don't know how we can even begin to thank him. Ridge shows himself and Taylor wonders if he heard them discussing his dinner last night. Ridge says it was wonderful. Brooke nods, yeah, it was. Taylor looks between the two. Taylor teases Ridge about the strangeness of her and Brooke being friends before talk turns back to the night before. Taylor remarks that the days of Brooke coming downstairs in an alluring nighty are gone. Rich loves that they're getting along and the families aren't fighting anymore. He adds that Hope and Thomas are across the hall working hard. He's proud of them. Brooke thinks she has to go talk to Hope and leaves. Taylor tells Ridge, they're up next for a family dinner. If the kids can't make it, she'll cancel. I'm kidding. We'll be fine. Rich nods, I think so. At Il Giardino, Liam tells Wyatt, he doesn't know what was going on between Hope and Brooke, but his wife has made an effort not to be like her mother. There's a small part of Hope that doesn't want to turn into her mother, maybe. In the main office, Hope crows about Thomas giving Zen his guidance. Your designs have been inspired. Thomas has felt inspired in a lot of ways lately. Brooke listens at the door as Hope tells Thomas 
She should be thanking him for giving him her line a second chance and doing the work. You've changed. Douglas has noticed it and I have too. I like what I'm seeing. Brooke walks in and asks to speak to Hope alone. Thomas exits. Hope asks her mother if everything is okay. Brooke wants to follow up on their conversation the other night and has to ask, Are you having feelings for Thomas?